Why do you need a six month listing agreement in 2022? I'm of the opinion that you don't, and I don't think you should sign one as a homeowner. If you're gonna to agree to take your home off the market and only let one agent sell it for six months, they better have a really good plan for that six month period. Now, what we see in 2022, the world has changed a lot, not only because of you know, what's happened in terms of the market slowing down a little bit, but also just the speed of information. The speed that information flows is so different than it was three, five, 10, 15 years ago. Because you talk to a bunch of agents right now, August 2022, and they're like, oh, we're gonna go back to like it used to be, it takes 90 days to sell a house, and I just think that's absolutely not true. No, it might take 90 days to sell a house, but that's because they didn't have a very good plan. In today's world, everybody wants everything instantly. So when you list your home for sale, and it doesn't sell that first weekend, every single buyer is thinking the same thing. What's wrong with the house? Why didn't it sell? And they've got a point. Because when you list your home, every active buyer who's on Realtor.com, Redfin, uh, Trulia, Zillow, all those websites, and they get email updates from their agent, they're gonna see the house. So if it gets passed over that first weekend and you don't have a plan in place to maximize that opening weekend, you are really trying to dig yourself out of the hole going forward. So if you're locking in for six months with an agent, I'm just curious what agents are saying their plan is if it doesn't sell in the first week, couple weeks, or first 30 days. Is it to do open houses every weekend so the neighbors can come by? Or, you know, what is the plan going forward after that first opening weekend. Because that opening weekend, you have the opportunity to create leverage for yourself as a home seller. Because if you do a proper marketing campaign, you use social media, you use long form video, you get to show off your home to the world before anyone even looks at it. And you create, and you take every buyer that's in that market and you put it in front of them. And then you use marketing and advertising to put your home in front of other people who are just starting the buying process. Or maybe they gave up on the buying process, but they had recently searched. And you put an amazing advertisement, an amazing video in front of those buyers and you generate the maximum amount of demand, and then you funnel all that demand into that first opening weekend, and you strategically price it, and you have a good story to tell, and you have an agent on site telling that story to the buyers, you create that demand, and you're gonna find true market price that opening weekend. If you just put it on the market and let three or four people come through, and you know they're kind of interested, you are wasting a massive opportunity. Because in week two, three, and four, the probability of you getting multiple offers is basically zero. It just doesn't happen. You have one shot at it. And an agent that has a good plan for pre-marketing, getting aggressive on that marketing, using that marketing to generate an emotional response from buyers and buyer's agents, get them excited about this upcoming listing. Then they show up and there's 10 other showings that day. That's the position you wanna put yourself as a seller in today's market. Now, the last two years, it's been pretty easy to do. And any agent can put a sign in the yard and we'll show it all weekend and it didn't really matter. But as our market slows and begins to transition, this is absolutely critical. Just watch the MLS, watch Zillow, and look at all the price reductions we've seen. No one reduces the price the first weekend. They're waiting till after the first weekend, and they do an open house the next weekend. They're like, what do we do? It's like, well, lowering the price is really the only option you have at that point. Otherwise, you're just waiting for a new buyer who's not looking online, hasn't seen your home, to come on the market and hopefully find it and fall in love with it and pay full price? That's bananas. That's not going to happen. They're gonna come in and if they like it, they're gonna lowball you and start the process that way. Because after that first weekend passes, you have given up all of your leverage. So locking into six months with an agent that doesn't have a plan to maximize the marketing and response and activity you're gonna get in that home the first weekend, it's kind of crazy in 2022. I hope you find that helpful. If you wanna know exactly how I list homes for sale, I wrote a book on it. You can get it for free. It's the Tell Your Story book. 
Because in 2022, the best thing you can do to sell your home for the highest price is to get someone to fall in love with it. The only way to make someone fall in love with it is to, for them to have an emotional response to your home. The only way they're gonna have an emotional response is if they hear a story about your home and they put yourself in your shoes. The best way to do that is with long form video. And that's what I do. Just go to topdollarnashville.com. You can download the book for free. It'll show you everything I do to help market and sell a home for the highest possible price, no matter what the rest of the market's doing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to talking to you soon.